Hey YouTube, welcome back. So uh, today we're gonna see if we could try to revive uh, this one with the uh, stick uh, welder, which is the DC inverter uh, welder, okay, not AC. So let's go ahead and uh, test out this uh, voltage uh, real quick and measure it. It shows a uh, ten point uh, five seven uh, voltage. I got this uh, battery uh, tester. Gonna uh, clip it on and see. So it shows a uh, bad. Either uh, replace, recharge. Shows over here bad, and then right here. Gonna use this uh, low tester real quick. Positive to positive, negative to negative. Shows about less than 11 volt. Then I'm gonna switch this on. Wow, doesn't even show over here weak or whatever. The range is supposed to be around here with the cold cranking amp 200, 400, or uh, 600, 800, or 1000 in between here. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go and then I use the well stick. Inverter and try to uh, see if it's gonna work. Yeah, so this is very dangerous. So you wanna wear your uh, goggle, your rubber glove and long sleeve. So in case there's an acid or whatever spill, you're not gonna burn your eyes or your skin. All right, so we're gonna pop up the two of those cap. And you saw uh, three holes. Uh, each hole represents uh, two volt or each cell, okay? We're gonna add uh, this uh, distilled water in there. This one is kind of low. This one is kind of full, full, full. Right here is pretty low. So uh, the low side, we're gonna add the uh, distilled water. Gonna use a vice grip for the positive terminal. Now we're just gonna clamp it. And this is the negative. So 
this one is the DC welder. Could go up to a 200 amp. So it connect to the negative on negative side. Positive to the positive. We're gonna start at the 50. Make sure the switch is off. I was gonna create an arc or spark. So make sure you do this in the outdoor, okay? We're gonna let it cool down for five minutes. Wow, it shows a uh, thirteen volt, more than thirteen volt. But I'm gonna let it cool out first before I do the low test. That's good. By the way, I connected like this. So don't tell me that I'm cheating or something or connecting to a different battery, okay? And this is the positive side. So now it's a 13 volt. I'm gonna do it real quick. Wow, no way. Look at the cold cranking. So you want to do that for like uh, five different cycles. So this is uh, looks uh, pretty uh, promising. So if you guys want to revive your 12 volt uh, lead battery, uh, they also is uh, recommended for the AGM as well. But since there's no cap to open, you want to do it uh, uh, less uh, minutes in cycle, each cycle. So yeah, anyway, uh, I'm not gonna waste you guys time. I'm gonna do this uh, five cycle. And then after that, I'm gonna keep you guys uh, updated. That's how you uh, revive your uh, battery with the new uh, method. With all those other method, uh, Epson saw or whatever, doesn't work. Don't waste your time with those uh, video. So after I did the revive, and now I test out the battery, it shows uh, good instead of uh, bad. As you can see, positive, negative. Go into the battery terminal right there, okay? So I'm not cheating. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or drop any other comments on below. And thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one, I always. Peace.